Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books Test Drive video. We are looking at Iris, the expert dispeller. She's the hero of the month for February. Yes, there's only like a day or two left in the month, so I'm late on doing this. Uh, I forgot that I got her to 370 and never did a test drive. So let's take a look at her. She is a wizard. So we got the wizard bonus going on here. Well, not yet because I don't have emblems. Uh, passive resist burns. So that's great against somebody like Gravemaker or somebody who's giving burn. Uh, notice that she deals extra damage against fire. So that's kind of two positives for her fighting fire people who give out burn. Um, the second passive here is mana on buff dispel. So if this hero has buffs and they get dispelled. She gets 10% mana each time a buff is dispelled from the hero. We'll look at that in a little bit. Uh, not a particularly strong passive in my mind because there's only like 16 heroes, or at least 16 five-star heroes that debuff. There's actually a 17th one, which makes things a little interesting, but I will get to that a little later in this video. But let's look at what she does here. So she deals 325% damage to the target and minor to the nearby. So she'll hit the target at 100% and the two on either side at 50%. Uh, and her hit is not great. There's like 16, 17, 18 other ice heroes that hit three harder. So not a particularly strong hit. Uh, but she dispels buff from the target and near eye enemies at the end of each turn for three turns. So that to me says she's an offensive hero because she needs to be timed. You know, you want to use her against, you know, Ferent and Alina and Sif and these people who are using repost. Uh, you can throw, if you get a shot in on her first and then set them off, that repost is going to go away at the end of the turn. So you want to think about heroes that you want to time her against so that you can get their mana up, get their special off, and then remove what they just added. That said, I don't know that she'd be great on defense because it'd be kind of random when she goes off as far as the timing goes. Uh, might be somebody interesting <coughs> to use in a buff booster war, maybe on either side, or excuse me, buff booster tournament. Extra damage against fire, so that helps bring up her not overly impressive hit. What has me intrigued by her is this elemental link gives all ice aloes allies 10% attack for four turns. This effect can't be dispelled. So what's interesting to me about that is who we put her with for synergy. Now, most of you who have followed my reviews and my attack strategy, I'm big on defense down plus elemental defense down and then whack with some strong hitters of the same color. So that brings me to somebody like Athena who is a defense down hero. But notice her elemental link gives all ice allies plus 15% attack and plus 15% defense. So if we combine Athena with Iris, we're going to have plus 25% attack for all of our ace heroes. That's basically like taking a bear banner into war, and we know we can't take it. Now, although I'm normally a fan of defense down stacking, one of the negatives with adding ailments to the enemy is... That benefit disappears when you kill them. When you do something like adding attack up, it sticks with you even if you kill the enemy. You still have that attack up. So you're carrying that special with you. Uh, so why am I a fan of defense down? My understanding of the defense calculation is that defense down has a bigger impact than attack up. But again, we have this benefit of keeping attack up even after the enemy dies. That That's part of the special doesn't go away. So let's take a look at this in play and see how it works combining iris with athena and yes those of you with a keen eye saw that krampus is in here who is also um, doing attack up 45 percent and then it increases every time they're hit so uh, we're going to add the three of them onto mr pengi who i have at a 902 attack and let's see how disgusting we can make his attack Okay, I'm going to test drive Iris with that ice team against an alliance mate here uh, since they are using Obacon, who does the uh, caster nearby allies counterattack. So just like Farron, Alina, Sif, 
So hopefully I can get Iris off first so that it removes that counterattack. It would also remove the mana boost from Odin over here. Uh, Octros um, does not give fire damage, so we're not going to see the, the resistance to that. But let's go ahead and check out a battle and see how this works out. All right. So we're going to be following Pengi here. So he has the attack with 1154. Now that's more than the 902 because I have the troop. So there's a troop bonus there. So he has an 1154 attack. All right, trying to get ice in here and we got to 9. That's one. That's two. And we are not going to do it before Obacon goes off. If I do the diamond, he's definitely going off. Let's not do the diamond. All right, so let's get our healing going. So let's see how crazy we can make this. We'll put Krampus on first. Pengi jumped 519. <laughs> so let's do our defense down. And that should be 15% added on. A 692 attack. And Iris, of course, has a boost now, too. Remember, she's only at 370. So Pengi is adding a hundred attack on. We got five minions. Let's see what happens here. Oh, you know what? I screwed up there. I should have used Iris to hit Obacon to remove his counterattack. Such is life. Nope. Oh, we're not gonna get to see that get removed. go in and try it again. There's hit one. All right, let's try it again. We don't have our nine, nine blue tiles lined up so easily this time. There we go. All right. Uh, heal, boost, hit. And now we're going to hit Iris over here. So that'll remove the buffs from Obacon and Odin if they survive what's about to come at them from Mr. Penguin. Yeah, Obacon's going to die, I think. Oh, nope. All right, so no fear of their buffs. Let's get them set off. All right, so there we go. Counterattack is in play. And the counterattack just went away. How sweet is that? As did the mana gen. You can see the mana gen is still over here on Cristobal. But uh, that repost from Obacon is a non-factor. A nice, another nice clean win. And the kill shot from Iris. Yeah, this will be an interesting look at Iris. So she gets 10% mana every time a buff is removed from her. So you would think you would need to use her against an enemy who removes buffs. However, Guardian Gazelle removes buffs. So let's go ahead and add some buffs onto Iris. And that gets her to 10 buffs. So we're going to fire her. Yes. 
And then if my thinking is correct, when Guardian Gazelle goes off, she should jump to 100% men. Oh, she didn't get it. All right, that did not behave the way I was expecting. I thought I was going to be clever using Guardian Gazelle to boost her a second time. I did put this as a bug on the Small Giant forums. Maybe they'll get some information back to us on why that did not happen and if this is working properly.